1224 here on this Monday afternoon. When's the last time you saw the sun? Hmm. Well, this is day seven of cloudy skies. The sun kind of disappeared when that cold front came through last Monday, and since then we've been locked in the clouds. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm on the wrong hands. I'm holding a remote here, but you get the idea. <laughs> you can count it up. Day seven of cloudy skies, and we got at least a couple more coming. But if you're tired of the clouds, sun returns Thursday and could be around uh, with mostly sunny skies back Friday, Saturday and Sunday coming up. So this coming weekend will look uh, much different than last weekend. Some sunnier days and warmer temperatures, but right now it's still cool, cloudy and wet. 67 in McAllen, 67 also in Brownsville and 63 in Harlingen. So a cool day and probably won't get out of the 60s anywhere today. A lot of drizzle and light rain out there. There's no heavy rain around, just uh, some light rain coming up from the south. You see little patches of showers and light rain and drizzle. And especially you look in the Cameron County, kind of the most of it's here in Cameron County, Southern Hidalgo County, but some a uh, little bit heavier rain offshore. Occasionally a few of these more moderate showers may come in at times near the coast, but not expecting any heavy rain or flooding rain today. At least a 60% chance for rain today. Probably bump this up to about 70% or so, but um, light rain overall, I and mean, you might get a quarter of an inch or less in most spots. Still some showers around tomorrow, but rain chances may pick up a little bit more again on Wednesday as tropical moisture comes through and a disturbance nearby. So that should be the last round of rain though. You see nothing but clouds and rain. We throw the clouds on there. Gray skies everywhere in and around the valley, and that continues all through this afternoon. Future track does show showers around the area today. Even where it doesn't show showers, there's still going to be some drizzle at times. So showers most numerous near the coast. And then overnight, things kind of drop off a little bit. And I think Tuesday may not be as wet, but still some sprinkles or a couple of little light rain showers may pop up from time to time. But Tuesday is probably a day when it looks like it's going to rain, but doesn't rain very much. It might just be clouds the majority of the time, but a little bit of drizzle and light rain is possible. Later Tuesday night, Wednesday, we could see a couple of rounds of rain come through. You see Wednesday does have some rain off and on, has it dry there, but one little round of rain, kind of the last probably round of rain may come through in the evening for parts of the valley before finally the sun, look, the sun icons back. You know, Thursday morning, you may wake up to clearing skies. I imagine there may still be some clouds at least, but I think Thursday will turn out to be more of a partly sunny day overall and then uh, even sunnier, warmer days by the weekend. And again, not much rain in most, area, if you, most areas around the valley. If you look at future track rainfall through tonight, it still has most areas getting not that much, maybe a little bit heavier near the coast. And even through tomorrow, it only adds up maybe another tenth or a quarter of an inch of rain in most areas all the way through Wednesday. So we're probably not going to be dealing with much rain. We kind of have, have to watch Wednesday, though, as some tropical moisture comes in from what is uh, a hurricane right now in the Pacific, but that leftover moisture is mostly going to be steered up in the central Texas. If you look at rainfall totals there through eight o'clock in the evening on Wednesday, it does have some pockets of red there, which indicate out there where the numbers aren't, but that indicates more than about three or four inches starting to add up in some of those areas. So uh, it could be some flooding rain again in central Texas. I mean, you look at widespread amounts here, forecasts of at least an inch or two, but some areas could be heavier than that. So hill country areas could be rather wet as we get toward uh, later Tuesday night and Wednesday. All this is because of Hurricane Willow, which is a Category 5 hurricane, but offshore right now from Mexico. But this is going to run right into Mexico, about right here by tomorrow. And then that leftover rain spreads up. And again, most of it should go north of the valley. If it kind of wobbles a little bit farther to the eastward, it may have to pump up the rain chances here a bit on Wednesday. So we'll watch for that. But again, the bigger rain is probably going to the north. So 66 today with clouds around today. Breezes still light from the northwest, and then tonight still a few showers and clouds and lows near 59 degrees, but pretty much clouds all day and tonight and some on and off rain, especially through this afternoon. First one five seventy forecast. Still some showers around tomorrow, but probably not as much as today. And then Wednesday we'll have to watch more showers around and we'll have to see if any little bursts of heavier showers come through, but most of them going to the north. And finally, bye bye clouds. Hello, some sunshine on Thursday back in the 70s and by the weekend even warmer. I think Saturday and Sunday will be partly the mostly sunny and back in the 80s once again with nighttime temperatures still in the 50s and 60s. We'll keep tracking that rain for the next few days though in your first 1-5 forecast here on Channel 5 News at noon.